Self-driving cars are already things of the present. Now the latest technology from Mercedes-Benz is taking autonomous autos to the next level. New at 5, our car specialist Dave Coons is the first person outside of the Mercedes company to take the cyber sedan for a spin. I'm in the driver's seat of this 2024 electric Mercedes, but I'm not driving. The car is. Welcome to the next phase of high-tech driver assistance, level three autonomy. The paradigm shift to level three um, is that you can take your eyes off the road and your hands off the wheel, right? You're no longer the driver, uh, you're a receptive fallback ready user. This is not some prototype. It's a production car going on sale late this year in California with regulatory approval. The first that allows you to relax and let the vehicle take over. Mercedes-Benz told me I was the first person outside the company to get to try it out. So I can look around, I can talk to you, I don't yeah. have to keep my eyes forward if I don't want to. I'm not touching the steering wheel. Level 2 Autonomy came along with a big splash from General Motors in 2017 with its Super Cruise. Hands off the wheel is okay, but you still have to watch the road at all times. Ford has a similar system called Blue Cruise, and Tesla also offers driving assist, but only at Level 2 currently. Mercedes-Benz's drive pilot is the first of its kind because under certain conditions, you can look away from the road and then... Some of the things that we've changed in our head unit to allow you uh, to make use of your free time now, right, would be doing like things like in-car office, web browsing, you can go on YouTube, you can play some games in the head unit, uh, or you could watch a movie. Extra technology is obviously built into the car to allow this to work. LiDAR, high-definition GPS with centimeter accuracy, the latest cameras, and backup systems systems for chassis control and electrical circuits, all tied together with lots of processing power. The driver is still a key component, remaining awake, alert, and ready to resume control when asked. Drive pilot requested. On the road, you'll get a message and chime that drive pilot is available. Tap the OK button on the wheel, and the car is now very much driving itself. Now, the system only works when you're on a freeway and you're going less than 40 miles per hour. But in Southern California, obviously, that's a lot of the time. Oh, but this aspect is a bit of a bummer. It only works in dry conditions at this early stage. Behind the front left wheel is our road humidity sensor. Uh, it's basically like a microphone. So it sits there uh, and kind of listens for right splashing or, or noises like that. So much for it coming in handy when traffic is notoriously worse on our freeways, when the rain falls during commute hours. More development is needed there. For some, just being able to use the system in most of our heavy freeway traffic will likely make it worth the $2,500 annual subscription for the feature on top of the $100,000 plus price of a Mercedes-Benz EQS. They'll also offer it on the gasoline-powered S-Class starting early next year, another six-figure car. But like other technologies that have come along over the years, Mercedes says this will eventually trickle down to less expensive models. And what about the next phase of self-driving cars? Level 4, where the driver would be allowed to doze off because the car provides its own backup. They're working on that right now. We're looking to bring Level 4 to highway driving uh, by the end of the decade. But for now, a real breakthrough in vehicle autonomy, something we've been hearing about for quite some time. The self-driving car is now here. Dave Coons, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.